Hey friends, I want to talk to you for just a minute about something I'm particularly passionate about, and that is for the believer, the corporate man. The world has never seen a move of God where the corporate man is at the center and doing the works of the ministry all across the earth. And we are in that time in history where the corporate man is being raised up. One of the critical components of the corporate man being raised up is developing a biblical worldview, and uh, particularly the area of finances. One of the things that I've discovered that as I've interacted with people in the body of Christ, leaders in the body of Christ, is that many believers love God with all their heart and are passionately pursuing Him, but they're in debt, they're, they're living paycheck to pay, their bills are behind, or they've lost their houses, and there's no shame, there's no guilt if, if you've experienced that, but there is a challenge from heaven that we have a biblical standard and according to the Word of God I believe it's God's will for you not to live paycheck to paycheck God's will for you not to be in debt after debt after debt and that you can actually live within the means that God has intended you to be and also be an extravagant giver because everything that the Lord gives us we've become a steward of and God wants us to be stewards who can be entrusted with uh, a large amount of resources because those resources can be used to change the world. If you're simply uh, living from uh, paycheck to paycheck, it's difficult to think how you can be a blessing to the, your neighbor next to you or be a blessing to a particular ministry or even be a blessing to the town that you're in. So here's what I want to challenge you. Number one, uh, I want to challenge you to ask God to help develop your biblical worldview and particularly the area of finances. If you've struggled for many years, maybe your family has struggled, I want to challenge you to ask God and believe God by the grace of God that you can. I want to say this to someone in particular. You can get out of debt. You can own a house. You can pay your car off without having a debt. And you can live without a credit card debt. You can live without that student loan. And I want to I want you I want to challenge I want you to challenge you to challenge God that you would partner with him just like we we're, we're believing for the dead to be raised that you would supernaturally get out of debt and then ask him the grace because a part of this is is just by the grace of God we ask God for the self-control that we don't buy things that we don't need or buy things before we even have the money to do them. I, I, want, I want to challenge you to at, ask God for the grace of God to live out this area of stewardship. And this is so critically important because I do believe that we are in an end time transfer of wealth. I believe that there's people watching this who the Lord wants to give millions of dollars to flow through your hands and 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 uh, becoming a candidate to have a million dollar flow to your hands begins by using that dollar that's in your hand already appropriately. So guys, I bless you and I uh, release the grace of God to people watching this to supernaturally get out of debt, to supernaturally understand how God wants to spend their money. And I bless you to, uh, to be a steward of kingdom finances in this great hour.